Welcome to the Anime Quest Haunted Christmas Special. This is your host, uh, 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 Anime Quest? Yeah, yeah. This is your host, Anime Quest. Today we're going to be reviewing Corpse Party. Party. Hope you're ready. Corpse Party is a four-episode horror-themed OVA named after a PSP game of the same name. It is also produced by Azred, and I wouldn't be... It wouldn't be fair to say that it's a bad anime. In fact, this is actually going to come off as a compliment, or at least I feel that it should come off as a compliment, but there needs to be more of Corpse Party, because of what there is... It's just not a substantial amount. Corpse Party is not only a horror anime, it is also a mystery for all intents and purposes, and quite honestly, the mystery, it gets explained, but it happens so fast, and I feel like there's so many background details missing that the OVA couldn't provide with the mere four episodes we were given. Of course, if you want to get technical, it's more like five episodes and some change because you know they're not they're like almost 30 minute episodes but that's neither here nor there even five episodes isn't really quite enough i feel to convey this story especially from the little bit of gameplay from the different corpse party games i've seen it seems like there's a whole hell of a lot more story there especially with the visual novel one which is the only one i'm familiar with that quite honestly the ova just does not have the time to talk about everything in fact, it's kind of so bad, it almost feels as though I'm reading the back of a book when it comes to watching the Corpse Party OVA, and quite honestly, that's a bit of a damn shame. But enough talk about that, let's get into the plot of Corpse Party. Basically, the way the plot of Corpse Party works is there are eight school kids doing a going away party after school for one of their friends who are leaving. Their sensei is there as well. They have a few exchanges, some laughs, they talk, there's a storm, scary story, you know, typical setup for a horror-themed show or movie, but it all basically boils down to a false scare, which is something that horror films are no, aren't shy of doing. Regardless, this isn't your typical horror film, and the moment this one false scare is out of the way, boy, you better buckle your fucking seatbelt and get in for the ride. Soon, their friend's going away party turns into a throwing away party as they slowly, one by one, start to get slaughtered and picked off by an elementary school that they ended up in due to a false spiritual game that they were playing. Basically what it was was, you don't fuck with a Ouija board, that's just the way it is. You should never, ever fuck with a Ouija board. The Ouija board being metaphorical, of course, because there's no actual Ouija board in this show. It's Japanese horror, and basically also Japanese tradition and mythology. Regardless, they're stuck in this school, and there's this little girl named Sachiko, who the entire mystery revolves around. But, we don't really know why she does what she does, but she pretty much likes to kill people. Kill children, to be more specific in Tenjin Elementary School, which is the elementary school she went to. Now, these students who were transported into this other dimension, it would seem, of Tenjin Elementary School, where many, many murders happened, I might add. Yeah, it's not a good day for them. I'm just going to go ahead and say that. The plot itself and the way it unfolds, it's very breakneck pace, which is the problem as I mentioned earlier, this being only four episodes. I feel like it is, in fact, a compliment to the overall story and to the source material, Corpse Party, the video game, 
that I feel like there needs to be more time to explore the plot and what's going on because sometimes you just don't really know what the fuck's going on. There are so many characters, villains with different motivations who have very little screen time and not enough time to shine. It is quite honestly very, very disappointing to one time see this character who's basically probably been trapped in this world since he was a little kid who's just looking for his little sister find a girl who somewhat resembles his little sister and then he goes mad and yeah it's it's sad that he didn't get as much screen time because what an interesting story to explore this kid who was stuck here for so long and he's basically an adult now but his motivations are still super strong he kind of seems to know what's going on but yeah that's just one of many potential potential possible tantalizing storylines that this anime just doesn't have time to explore. The worst part of this anime. It's just doesn't have enough runtime. In short, really the only people I can recommend this to are fans of the games already and gore fiends because boy isn't there plenty of that in there. I tell you, this anime actually managed to make me cringe with a few death and gore scenes and honestly that's kind of a shock i don't normally get grossed out by anime horror and anime especially because there's that disconnect from real life that anime tends to have i was genuinely genuinely curdling my toes at some of these deaths i'm even thinking about them now i'm stuttering and losing my voice <laughs> though there's one death in the anime that didn't make my toes curl or didn't really scare me. In fact, it made me fucking laugh. And I'm gonna play it for you right here. Sutton,お父さん、ま、私が思わずに会うわけ。みんなこんなこと。先生はそうは思わないわ。あなたが友達を思う気持ちに嘘はない。そうでしょ。Gosh, wasn't that just a glorious death scene? Holy shit. That was honestly hilarious, but as you can see from that, the gore is fairly well animated. The animation for this is pretty damn well done from the studio, Studio As Red. I've heard their name before, but I'm, I can't really think of any titles off the top of my head that they've done. Regardless, good job on them for at least actually giving a shit. Uh, not saying the writers didn't give a shit, but I'm gonna go ahead and go out on a limb and say the producers didn't give a shit, not giving this OVA enough time to really let its story stretch its legs. But anyways, enough of that. The music in this and sound effects are pretty good too. The squishy noises you hear when gore scenes are happening is just... Ugh, God dang, it's... Wow! Anyways, it sounds orgasmic in a way, and I know that sounds a bit morbid of me to say that, but still, the sound effects are just so damn good. And the music's pretty good too, particularly the opening, which is pretty catchy at times, honestly, and it somewhat sells the horror too. As far as the animation goes, they do a lot of cool little tricks. The shadow effects that they have, as well as this interesting camera tilt when serious shit is going down. I gotta give them a lot of credit for actually caring and trying when it came to producing this OVA. Unfortunately, the people involved in its creation seem to be the only ones giving a shit. Even the voice actors give a shit. They sound very convincing, but apparently... The producers didn't give enough of a shit to think that this should be a full-blown TV series. I reviewed an anime a while back by the name of, I think it was The Lost Village. It was actually pretty funny, but it kind of reminded me of uh, Silent Hill in its initial presentation, but it did not deliver on that, that's for sure. By the time it was over, I was just kind of rolling my eyes and laughing and like, oh, why the fuck would I ever want to watch this anime again? But Corpse Party has enough there to want to return to it, I just don't want to return to an unfinished product. Quite honestly, in its current state, it's not good. It doesn't explain itself well, there are quite a few plot holes, too many character motivations and characters not given enough screen time, 
It's for all intents and purposes a bad anime, but a bad anime that I enjoyed and feel has the potential to be better if given more time. Uh, I suppose we'll never know. A full-on adaptation of the game would be preferred, but I guess that's just not going to happen. There's a live-action film. Haven't seen it. Don't plan on watching it. It's not much longer than the OVA, I don't think, so it's probably just going to end up suffering from the same problems. There's also a post credit scene that, and the ending of the series, ugh, just all sorts of bad on that end. I, I don't like the way this was ended. It didn't make any sense from a plot standpoint as to how the Tengen Elementary School part ended when the three characters we have at the end, what happens. I'm not going to go into spoiler details, but it kind of doesn't make any sense to me. Probably only makes sense if you played the game, pretty much. And on top of that, there's a post credit scene. And it just further adds to the confusion. But other than that, there's so much intrigue. And I feel like it could be good, but it's just not. I'm going to give Corpse Party, the OVA, a 6 out of 10. Mostly for trying, even if ultimately failing. In the end, Corpse Party is available on home video by Made in Japan on Blu-ray and DVD, though honestly, I don't necessarily recommend it. It's cheap enough, and if you're a big fan of gore or you're a fan of the video game, I can easily recommend it to you, but for anybody else, there's just not enough here. Anyways, this has been Anime Quest. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next Quest for Anime.